Why is it so quiet? The Hello? Is this my fault? My volume mixer. Oh, it's fucked. Hang on. Huh? My controller. It took all of my audio. You motherfucker. It's coming through my controller right now. Are you kidding me? This latest rap. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Bastard. I was like, I, I swear I kind of hear it. All right. Found this version feels pretty firm. Like Apple is going to make a USB-C iPhone. A USB-C iPhone is finally confirmed. Except, is it actually? Like this, I've, I've had to resist the urge to make a video about this for as long as this has been talked about. I'm excited about for to see months, Apple. But now get there's fucked. actually something concrete to talk about. So. Let's address it. So it's been brewing for a while, but the background info is that the European Union has passed legislation requiring all phones and gadgets sold in the EU to have a USB-C port. It standardizes one port across everything, which includes, of course, the iPhone, which is currently not USB-C. Yep. Um, and this passed with flying colors, by the way, 602 to 13. So then this past week, Ooh. Joanna Stern of the Wall Street Journal was talking to some Apple people on stage about it. She had Apple's Craig Federighi and Greg Jaws, and she asked them about this ruling. And Jaws gives this you know, pretty winding, long-winded answer about how the government shouldn't be making these types of rules and creates a lot of e-waste potentially, but then eventually ends with, you know, we don't want to, but we'll comply. Obviously, we'll have to comply. We have no choice, as, as we do around the world, to comply to uh, local laws. And boom, of course, cue the headlines. Apple confirms the iPhone is getting USB-C. Apple says iPhones will finally get USB-C ports. Apple confirms iPhones will get USB Type-C charging. But he didn't actually say that. Like, again, let's keep in mind, let's remember, these are very well-media trained oh, Apple executives doing a public interview. They're being very careful with their words. They specifically said they will comply, not that they will make a USB-C iPhone. And there is a big difference. So you can actually pull up and what read the document do, with the exact law that's been passed that they're all referring to, data.concilium.europa.eu. I'll link it below the like button if you want to check it out for yourself. It's very long. But on page 27, it gets into the exact details of what it's mandating as far as charging. So to save you the time, it basically says for these categories here, including smartphones, if a device is capable of being charged via wired charging, it shall have a USB-C port and be able to be charged by a USB-C. Wait. Read that again. I'm stupid and dumb. I need to hear it Including twice. smartphones. If a I device is talk. capable of being charged via wired charging, it shall have a USB-C port and be able to be charged by a USB-C cable. And the press release from the European Parliament says that this will be in effect by the end of the calendar year 2024. And I'm with Dave 2D on this one. Apple never specifically said that they will make a USB-C iPhone. They would never say that. But I also don't think they ever will. See, first of all, when they switched to Lightning on that iPhone 5 back in the day, it was genuinely an innovation. Like it was a much smaller port, which let them push plenty of power and data for the time. And that opened up way more room inside the phone than the outgoing ancient 30 pin could allow. So yes, people were mad for a few months about having to get a new charging cable, sure. But pretty quickly, everyone sort of just adopted and accepted Lightning for the iPhone. And then Apple made what's called the Made for iPhone program or MFI, which basically means they get a cut of every certified lightning accessory that anyone ever sells. So you wanna make a lightning accessory that plugs into the iPhone and have it be taken seriously at all? Well, you'll need to get it certified and then it's certified MFI made for iPhone and that'll be 10% off the top of every unit straight to Apple, thank you very much. Like just this MFI program has made Apple millions and millions of dollars over the years, thanks to the Lightning port. But now it's 2022, it's been almost a decade and Lightning is kind of an old outdated port at this point. We've moved on, we've gotten much better charging speeds and data speeds and so Lightning kind of sucks now. So Apple has been working towards their next jump but their next jump wasn't planned to be USB Type-C 
their next jump was planned to be to no port at all. Yeah, that's correct. They, they've been moving towards removing the port from the iPhone entirely. I have a whole video about this. I highly recommend watching it after this one. I'll make it the first link below. But yes, Apple would rather just get rid of the port entirely than Fuck. switch to USB Type-C. I always wonder how they'll address it on stage. Like I imagine they'll have the little moment where they're like, how much do you really use the charging port on your phone? And it's taking up precious space inside the phone. Deep what below. was that? Th Hold on. I have a whole video about this. I highly recommend watching. It's gonna be this. This is what it's gonna be. It's gonna be this fucking like, what is this? Checking your fucking heartbeat doctor thing. And you're gonna have to carry this cable around. And it's gonna be $150. Fuck. It's so slow. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm so annoyed. Just, just add, just add the port, man. Just add the, what the fuck? Watching it after this one. I'll make it the first link below. But yes, Apple would rather just get rid of the port entirely then switch to USB Type-C. I always wonder how they'll address it on stage. Like I imagine they'll have the little moment where they're like, how much do you really use the charging port on your phone? And it's taking up precious space inside the phone. And hey, we've had the courage to invent this incredible new charging technology, MagSafe. Now MagSafe, MagSafe is fine. You know, in 2022, it's, it's okay. It doesn't fix the slow data speed problem, but it does slap onto the back of the phone with magnets and charge at 15 watts. And what, I think Apple's wanted MagSafe to I sort don't know of what 15 grow watts and evolve is. Is a little bit good? faster than it has, and it kind of hasn't. But now with this new hard-coded deadline imposed by the EU, they will have the next iPhone, the 2023 iPhone 15, and the next iPhone after that, the 2024 iPhone 16, to really push MagSafe before the next iPhone after the deadline, the iPhone 17, can go portless. So now it becomes very easy to see a world where Apple stops giving you a lightning cable with the newest iPhones, but just starts giving everyone just the MagSafe wireless charging puck in the box, and that's it. Just to get people used to wireless charging for two whole years before the transition is just like, yeah, this is how we charge all our phones now. In so far as they are capable of being recharged via wired charging, USB Type-C. Oh, they'll comply. They'll comply all right, that was a smart reply. But yeah, if it doesn't charge via wired charging at all, then they don't need a USB-C port. But the iPhone isn't the only lightning thing that Apple makes, by the way. There's some other accessories that they make that are also on this list. Apple's Magic Keyboard, the Magic Mouse, and AirPods all also charge with lightning right now. So they will have now also until 2024 to get that transition going to either switch to USB-C or be portless and they've also already kind of started that transition. You might have noticed that the new Apple TV Siri remote charges via USB-C this year instead of Lightning like it was previously. And of course the new AirPods cases all charge via Lightning but also have added MagSafe compatible wireless charging and it would feel pretty easy for them to get rid of that Lightning port in the next two years. So the real question is, will MagSafe be advanced enough by then for people to not go insane? Well, will it actually, because the point is it should actually be better than Lightning. For them to move on and move forward from Lightning, it should be a technological advancement. And that's actually the point. And that, that gets us back to that original spiel that Jaws made that I skipped through earlier. Because as much as it, it is very much Apple PR, self-serving corporate talk, I actually agree with almost, almost everything that he says there. Because what he's saying is basically that we're fine with the government making regulation with a positive end goal in mind, right? But they shouldn't be so prescriptive with exactly how to do that, technologically speaking. That part should be up to the engineers and the innovators at these companies to figure out. Nope. So if the government has a good idea in tech, which can happen sometimes, it, it'll never like be Like for example, them. wanting hearing impaired people to be able to use smartphones, then great, fine, then let the companies actually figure out a way to make Listen, their phones compatible with hearing. When I heard, what I heard is it should be up to the engineers in the companies. I heard it should be up to the higher ups who are the boss of the engineers to make the engineers do stuff. Is your, no, it's not, it'll never be like that. Hearing aids and then work on that tech and make it better over time. That way everybody wins and the tech actually improves. So because they're mandating USB Type-C for all wired charging devices now, it can feel kind of like a win because lightning kind of sucks and this is better. 
but we're already kind of pushing the envelope of USB Type-C. That's not exactly new either, and we're getting like 200 watt charging in smartphones now and super high fast data speeds. Eventually, in a couple years, we're gonna move on to something even better than USB Type-C. Really? And then what? So I don't really want to hear about the environment and e-waste from Apple, of all people. Like, I get right. that a lot of people have lightning cables, and that's what you love about lightning. But that never stopped you from changing all the other stuff to USB Type-C. So really, the behind-the-scenes problem is the government being so prescriptive as to require USB Type-C instead of just giving an overall goal like unified charging standards to reduce e-waste. And, you know, maybe the, the law can update over time to keep up with the tech, but how much do you trust that to happen? So in conclusion, hey, I'll take a USB-C iPhone if that ends up being what happens out of this. But it's probably not going to be what happens. Um, and again, we'll see, but it's like, it can feel like a win because USB-C is better than Lightning right now. But that's just in the short term. And I think in the long term, it's pretty clear Apple's got a lot of time to think about how they're going to get theirs. But hey, when wires wane, wireless will win. Thanks for watching. Okay. Hmm. So iPhone's not going to have USB-C. <laughs> I thought I was going to go in and be like, look, guys, I told you. But no.